Hi everybody, welcome back to, uh, to my house in Stockport, it's Harry Jeffries again and uh, welcome to another sing-along that we do for the Alvinley family practice. Uh, this week uh, will be the 233rd week since lockdown of these sing-alongs and uh, we're just bashing along with them aren't we? And uh, as you probably noticed I, I try to um, well, vary the, the sort of songs, the genre and uh, the age of them. And I'll go back to the 1920s sometimes, aren't we? And then up to the 60s and so on. Uh, I think last week we did uh, a couple of Coldplay covers, didn't we? Which seem to have uh, been quite popular. Uh, but this week, <coughs> I'm going away from that. And um, for the first song I'm going to sing is a, a song written in 1935 by the very, very famous George Gershwin. And he wrote this for the... Um, opera Porgy and Bess. It's called Summertime and um, there's been lots of covers of it. Um, I think the best one, well in my opinion anyway, the best one was uh, Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> I think her version was just terrific. I wish I could sing like her. <laughs> Got that beautiful velvety voice. <clears throat> uh, so that's the first song I'm going to do, so 1935 from Coldplay. And then I'm going to go uh, up to um, 90... 1997, yeah, to uh, a song written by a lady that I really love. I've got a few of her albums. <clears throat> and she wrote this song three years after the death of her first husband, uh, who she obviously loved very much. And um, she wrote the song for him, really. It's a, it's a message to him, really, um, although he's passed away. Um, it's it's, it's a sort, it's sort of a letter, really, I suppose. She's writing to him. Um, just reminding him and herself of the lovely times they had when they were together in, in marriage. And um, she mentions holidays in the, at the sea and uh, uh, times they had making music together when they were on stage and things like that. Uh, it's a great song. It's called Seven Shades of Blue and she's called Beth Nielsen Chapman. <clears throat> so I, I, I would suggest you uh, have a look at her, her music. Um, there's lots of albums. She's going for a long time. Um, she's out of Nashville at the moment, and she's uh, she was on the Nash she's on the Nashville Hall of Fame. She was um, put on that not long ago, and um, sadly, I had a chance to go and see her in the summer this year because there was a country music festival in Blackpool, which I really fancied, um, but I couldn't spare the time to go for the full weekend it was a saturday and a sunday and um, i just wanted to see beth nielsen chapman on the sunday evening um, but they won't let me buy a ticket uh, for that just that gig yet you had to buy the whole weekend pass <coughs> excuse me and that was quite expensive um, in in relative terms for one gig it would have been a uh, good value if they'd gone for the weekend but i couldn't do it i was doing other things so yeah so uh, maybe um, if anyone's listening that was a, that organised that festival, maybe it's something you might look at um, selling individual concert tickets, particularly for the headliner on the last night, um, because you, you missed out on a lot of a lot of audience. I would have thought. Anyway, it might have been packed. Who knows? So that's the second song. So I hope you're all well and um, happy, and um, and just enjoy these two songs. Thank you. I'm just going to have a little drink because I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. <coughs> Red wine.
Then you spread your little wings And you take to the sky But until that morning There is nothing can harm you With Daddy and Mommy
Oh, let them turn my soul Seven shades of blue tragic life. Um, her husband died in 1994 and then she was 16 years uh, without uh, getting married again and then she married another chap and uh, then he got leukemia uh, tragically and he passed away and then she in the meantime had breast cancer which uh, got resolved and then she had a, a benign brain tumour which uh, got removed and and uh, she's still gigging, and, and I wish I'd have seen her in the summer. Uh, I'll keep my eyes and ears on for future. But she's still gigging and still moving around the world, and um, lots and lots of people um, like her. She was a big friend of El um, Olivia Newton-John. She made some music with her. And John Prine, um, she helped him uh, in the, the end of his life, really. And he inspired her with many songs that she covered and things. So John Prine, I think you might remember, did sing some of his music a while ago. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's me waffling on anyway. I hope you enjoyed the music this week. And um, stay well, stay safe, stay happy, keep smiling. God bless everybody. See you soon. <laughs>